Hello. In this video, we will do an example of using chemical bond potential energies expressed in electron volts. So back in chapter 13, we saw that the bond dissociation energy of the hydrogen-hydrogen bond was 4.52 electron volts per bond. How much energy is released, therefore, by converting 6 grams of monatomic hydrogen into 6 grams of diatomic hydrogen, H2? Well, first we need to determine how many atoms of hydrogen that we have. Because we know the energy per bond, we need to know how many bonds we're going to have, which means we need to know how many atoms we have. So we have 6 grams of hydrogen, and we know that one mole of hydrogen is 1.008 grams of hydrogen. And we know this from looking at our periodic table. We of course know that there are 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of hydrogen in a mole of hydrogen, which means we have in our initial sample 3.5 Five eight four times 10 to the 24th hydrogen atoms. But this is not the number of bonds we're going to get because we're thinking about diatomic hydrogen, which is two hydrogen atoms bonded together. We can see that the number of bonds is half the number of atoms. We get one bond for every two atoms. Therefore, we are going to have 3.584 times 10 to the 24th over 2, or 1.79 times 10 to the 24th hydrogen-hydrogen bonds formed. Now in the problem, we know that it's 4.52 electron volts per bond. So how many electron volts is that in total? We have 1.79 times 10 to the 24th hydrogen-hydrogen bonds. We know that we get 4.5. 5, 2 electron volts out for each hydrogen-hydrogen bond, which leaves us with 8.10 times 10 to the 24th electron volts. Well, 10 to the 24th of anything is kind of hard to understand and to fathom, so it might be useful to convert this into some other unit. Maybe joules. So let's do that. We have 8.10 times 10 to the 24th electron volts. We know that we have 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19th joules per electron volt. So we therefore release by combining the 6 grams of hydrogen into 6 grams of diatomic hydrogen, we release 1.30 times 10 to the 6th joules or 1.30 megajoules, which is a lot of energy. This concludes this video.